hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i will be uh, sharing my knowledge with you all so <clears throat> in previous video i have discussed about how to use cli commands to automate with creation of virtual network and virtual machines and so on and so forth. so in this video i will be using the generic cell script which will automate all those things very simple way you have to do the simple thing is just right just open git bash and type the file name of the script and enter this script will take care of all those things so let's go into the uh, video further more so as discussed here if you see i have i am creating the resource group and location here i made everything as generic you can pass through with the parameter resource group and location once this step are run it will check for the status of this last command if it is zero then i have the sigma function called check status if it is zero then it will go to i mean suppose if it is zero zero not equal to zero then it's here okay i mean zero not equal to zero means it is not true so it will come here completed status suppose if the command it uh, throw one then it says here then it will come out of this all script so this is nothing but error handling part so i am making sure that uh, without uh, without creation of any steps it should not go to uh, next step that is the reason of i have uh, that is the reason for error handling and i have placed error handling step for each and every step and then as discussed uh, earlier resource creation of resource group and virtual network virtual network name and then virtual mission name and then from this virtual mission name i am getting the ip address public ips ip address i am showing in the pub ip address okay so you can ask me where from where you are passing this parameters for the reason i i am having the configuration.sh in this script i am adding all those details what is the resource group name and location and then with virtual network name and virtual machine name if any situation if you want to modify the resource group name and v name uh, vnet name virtual network name you no need to go in the script uh, modify the things that is the main reason for configuration script you can make the changes at any time without modifying the actual script so that it will not captured in the audit purpose as well so i will be sharing this code in the description of the video hope this video will helpful for you guys thank you very much